The Glaucoma Center of Excellence was established in recognition of the long and proud tradition of research in glaucoma here at the Wilmer Eye Institute. More than 80 years of research in this terrible blinding disease, in fact the second leading cause of blindness worldwide, has taken place here at Wilmer. There are eight clinician scientists who devote their clinical and scientific careers to the discovery of new ways to manage and treat and in fact prevent and diagnose glaucoma. So in addition to all of the clinical care we provide as part of the Glaucoma Center of Excellence, all of our members are also uh, important researchers on a national level and international level. Uh, this goes back starting with Dr. Quigley for several decades now. He's been providing excellent care to his patients and also involved in some of the most important uh, research that's gone on in glaucoma in that time, including laser treatments that we now take for granted, um, visual field testing uh, machines that did not exist prior to some of the work he's done in the past. We are proud to have one of the largest research portfolios in the United States. Much of the research is carried out in this lovely building with over 200,000 square feet of lab space. There's over two million dollars spent per year here at the Glaucoma Center of Excellence which comes from National Institutes of Health funding, from a lot of other institutes, as well as private patients and grateful donors um, who recognize that the mission of the Glaucoma Center is, in fact, to prevent blindness from this dread disease. The Glaucoma Center of Excellence is known globally for the quality of its research, and we're leaders in that area. We have uh, members in the Glaucoma Research Society, which is an elite group of people that are selected by the society, and there's only a hundred worldwide who are entered at any one time. Three of us are members of that group, and Dr. Quigley is the president. Uh, we also consult to the World Health Organization and have done so on multiple occasions to help them decide how to treat glaucoma globally. Some of the major contributions that have come out of the Glaucoma Center of Excellence the first successful gene therapy to block glaucoma's damage in an animal model. The discovery of why the visual field test becomes abnormal in a very particular pattern for glaucoma. Uh, another key research development is a method for producing an opening in the iris or in the colored part of the eye with a laser that's now used in actually treating a type of glaucoma we call angle closure glaucoma. Imagine a situation where people were no longer blind. Now there's a couple of scenarios in which that could happen. You can have such an effective treatment that there's no more blindness from glaucoma. Or you can prevent it right up front so that you never need to manage or, or treat. And that of course is the, the holy grail altogether, is the prevention of blindness from glaucoma.